All right, guys, it's Jess from Butt First Crochet, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little turtle, which is absolutely perfect for your claw mini claw machine for markets or just a cute little market make keychain. Um, I made him in 10 minutes. Of course, this video will probably take a little bit longer, but um, he is so cute. He's no sew too, completely no sew. Um, you will need some chunky yarn. I think this is chunky yarn. Mm -hmm. Bulky, bulky yarn, a five bulky yarn. I'm using Yarn B Adorable. I've got some green, I've got some purple, so I'm gonna try this guy in two different colors. I have some safety eyes. I'm not sure of the exact measurements, but um, they're a pretty little. I used a couple different sizes. I think the bigger eyes are cuter. So um, I don't know what those are, 10 or 12 millimeters, I'm totally guessing. And of course a yarn needle and some scissors. I'm going to use an H 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. And as always, I apologize for the background noise. I have four kids, can't help it. And a dog. If you hear squeaking right now, they're playing with a dog toy. <laughs> okay, let's start with a magic circle. And chain three. One, two, three. Now you're going to place, this does not count as a stitch. You're going to place 12 treble crochets inside your magic circle. So there is one. Make a treble by wrapping your yarn around your hook twice. Insert your hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, two, ah, uh, saved it. There's three. There's four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, and twelve. Now be very careful when you're tightening your magic circle. I forgot to this time, but it's better to leave a little bit of a tail in case you snap this. You've got some extra to play with. So tighten that up and join to the first stitch, not the chain three, but join to the first stitch with a slip stitch. And now I'm gonna change to green, but you can make it all one color if you want. So I'm gonna snip off the purple going to attach my green and I'm going to chain two. 
So there's one and two. Now we're going to do a cluster of five double crochets in this first stitch. So right in the same stitch as our chain two, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and again, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, again, that's three times, four, and five. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all six loops. Now chain two. You're gonna slip stitch back into that space. Here. And then just kind of poke, it's like a bobble. Poke it out so that it's puffed out and that's the head. Single crochet in the next stitch. single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the second chain from the hook, so one, two, and in the next one, Slip stitch back into that first single crochet. There's one leg. Single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by another single crochet. And chain three. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And again, slip stitch back into the single crochet at the beginning, then single crochet in the next four. There's one, two, three, Four, chain three, single crochet in the second chain from the hook, and single crochet in the next chain, slip stitch back into that first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and single crochet again in the next stitch. Chain three, single crochet in the second chain from the hook, and single crochet in the next chain, slip stitch back into that first stitch, we're back at the beginning, I'm going to slip stitch right here. And I'm going to chain one and finish this off. Tighten that. I'm just going to tie a knot here so everything is nice and secure from where I joined the green and the purple. Just a couple little knots there. I decided not to use any stuffing because I just kind of balled up these tails and stuff them in here. 
and that seems to work pretty well, but feel free to add some stuffing if you want. Now we're gonna make the bottom piece. And I'm gonna get my green again. I'm gonna make a magic circle. I'm gonna chain one. Then I'm gonna do six single crochets in the magic circle. Gonna tighten that magic circle. And then for round two, gonna increase in each stitch. So two single crochets in each stitch for a total of 12. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Don't fasten this off. Grab your body and I like to, we're going to put this on top of here. So I kind of start in the back, but you can join it anywhere you want. Get your tail in there to add a little extra stuffing. Keep your working yarn out here. Insert into the next stitch on that bottom piece and then pick a stitch to go in to the body. And we're just going to single crochet this together. It doesn't have to be exactly where the stitches are, just single crochet around. And I'm going to make sure you put your yarn under the leg here. And I'm going to go around this leg on the other side to close that up. Just kind of insert your hook where it feels comfortable. It doesn't have to be exact and perfect. I'm gonna go on the other side of this leg. Here we're at the head. Now I am gonna insert a stitch around the head here just for extra security. So I'm going to go like right in here. Like that. Now I'm going to come out to the other side of the head. Come over to the other side of this leg. Make sure everything's stuffed in there. Other side of this leg. I think I've got like one or two more stitches. One more, this will be the last one. Again, I don't even know how many I did, but around 12, 10 to 12. So he is all closed up chain one to fasten off, snip your yarn, pull out your needle, or sorry, your hook, tighten that, but don't yank it too hard because this is pretty fragile, it'll break. Grab your yarn needle and thread the tail. And I'm just gonna insert my needle underneath this bottom 
And I'm going to just come out the top, give that a little tug. Snip off that tail and just push that back inside. You can play with this head a little bit to round it out. You can embroider eyes or pop on some safety eyes. These safety eyes aren't like totally protected, so you may want to um, use a lighter to kind of singe the ends and flatten those down so that nobody gets poked. So. So just run a lighter over that and just kind of mush those down and that'll flatten those out. Then just kind of round these out a little bit. There we go. Mr. Speedy the turtle. Look, 16 minutes to teach you how to make him. Look at him, he is so cute. So I bought one of those little claw machines and my triplets drooled over it so they are a huge hit with the little ones they're five and my almost 10 year old and his friend also loved it so these are the perfect size for that claw machine to zoop, grab it or if you you know add a little keychain to this it's a perfect little backpack keychain the little ones are going to love it so um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching. I will write up the pattern and link it below in the description. So enjoy. See you next time.